Hi everyone. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is at home and they're keeping safe during this time. Yes. Um okay, let's get started guys. Before we begin, uh just to give you a brief introduction about us about imagine xp we are india's leading organization in user experience and design thinking education our objective is to bring world class industry led design educations design education to students and professionals um uh, we've been doing various certification programs we've been doing workshops uh we've been tying up with the universities all across india uh and uh, in various states of the country um so a lot of times we've been asked by all our aspiring students as well as parents uh what exactly is user experience design and what exactly is design thinking what is this about this field is uh, emerging and it's becoming the most sought after field in the design industry it's progressing very fast and it's now come up to a level where it's quickly Uh, leaving behind all the other professionals all the other uh, professions that we know of uh it's the it's the skill of the future it's the field of the future every industry segment is uh increasingly looking at digitization as well as digitalization uh so the objective of for every brand for every company is to not just create products and services uh but to actually create enhanced user experiences around their products and services and that is where a user experience feel comes uh that is where U- ux comes into play uh ux is not just bringing together the knowledge of tech uh psychology creativity design arts in order for companies of the future to solve complex problems uh but it's also uh creating products services that we can actually use uh whether it's in the digital realm or not so um let's we we're going to talk a lot about this we're going to talk about what is the career trajectory that one needs to uh undertake in order to become a part of this amazing field uh so joining with me in this session is uh, abhijit singh uh he's been an educator for the past 15 years and he's the leading design evangelist at imagine xp uh so let me bring him in guys hi everybody good evening hi a lot of you are there who have joined the session i welcome you all and i first of all uh, i'm sure that you all are safe and secure at your homes and uh, following the decorum which the the country wants us uh, to follow and i really wish for a for a healthy life and i pray that all of us come out of uh, this uh, situation uh successfully very well uh hats off to the administrators and the doctors who are doing some amazing job absolutely uh it's a tough time everybody is uh, it's very important for everybody to stay safe uh right. practice social distancing and right. uh, yeah let's hope that they flatten the curve on this i'm sure about it and yes uh to never stop learning that's what we say at imagine xp that's is to that's you no know, everybody everybody is at home but we should not uh, stop in uh, continuing to learn correct so uh, so abhijit uh, before we begin our uh, I, we have a, a few set of questions that i have mapped out 
and right. uh, after uh, taking over those questions uh, i think it'll be good if uh, the people can uh, put down their questions as well and we'll take them uh, after our uh, interaction uh, before we begin on that uh, can you say a few words just to introduce yourself uh i think uh, that crisp introduction was uh, more than enough yes i am an educator i am a teacher i am a ux evangelist and uh, it's been now more than 15 years that i have been doing a lot of counseling a lot of uh, career guidance a lot of uh, you know uh, organizing a lot of management development programs for corporates government colleges universities students and uh, yes at imagine xp we have been uh, trying to cover the entire nation length and breadth uh, all the corners major demographies uh, talking about ux uh giving this right. knowledge transfer to the young generation and the university stakeholders and the corporates to understand why ux is so important and uh, yes so we have been talking to more than 10000 students across india in last one year where we were able cool. to uh, give them the message of why ux is the most sought after career choices or why should they study ux uh as a certification or as a degree and uh, right. yes that right. made us uh, that made us spread our uh, you know horizon spread our wings across all the major cities in all states of india yeah right right awesome uh i think uh, myself included and our listeners are uh, in awe of your uh, drive and uh, the achievement and all all the things that you've accomplished Uh, so far so i hope we all get to follow your footsteps um yeah. <laughs> so uh, okay let's let's just to kick start our discussion uh yes uh what is ux design and uh, what what does it mean to actually become a ux designer yes so uh... i have been dealing with this question day in day out now uh right just as the term suggests ux or better said user experience design uh i would say it is nothing but the overall experience the user uh has when they interact with uh, a product or a service uh, in a in a given context and uh, the most important thing here is that why all of a sudden everybody is talking about ux designing or if if the term is so simple which says user experience design why is it so important that the world is talking about it why do we say that there are a lot of career opportunities is the main question all of a sudden because of digitalization and when i say ux i say in a general context but yes mostly it is about the digital products and services which which the world is seeing today and just because right. of these digital products and services uh when as a user i review or as a user if i don't feel good if i'm not i don't get a delightful experience it becomes very easy for me to tell to the world that why should i access a product or a service or not and that's why all of a sudden everybody is talking about ux designing and that's why all the businesses of the world are talking about ux design and the importance of having a ux design team in their businesses uh so yes though it is not limited to digital products but yes user experience is all about giving a delightful experience to a customer to a user solving their problems by providing a wonderful experience Right. So yes, uh, in this in this condition where we all are under a lockdown, uh, if we are able to say that learning should not stop, and if we are continuing our learning through a digital platform, then that's a user experience. Right. If I'm not able right. to go to the market, and if I get my groceries at home through some digital platform, and I'm able to make payments flawlessly through a digital platform. if i right. am able to watch a lot of media and entertainment according to my own needs and choices this is all about user experience design and that's right. where the world is talking about ux design and coming back to what exactly is a ux designer so i would say that ux designer is someone who is uh, you know trying to create products uh by making 
technology usable, enjoyable, accessible for humans. Uh, UX designers they tend to work, uh, you know, on on in the in the product team, and they often, uh, you know, are trying to bridge the gap between the user, the development team, and the stakeholders, and that's why they are known as one of the most important entity today in any of the businesses. Right, right. Absolutely. So I, I really like what you said that a U uh, a UX designer is basically making products so that they they're much more enjoyable and actually usable for other people. Accessible. Correct. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I think uh, that's where a UX designer comes uh, in this particular space. in uh, bridging that gap of what is the actual functional aspect of a particular product or a service and what does the consumer or the user actually need and i think a user designer comes somewhere in the middle is that right in saying that that's true babu and uh, you know if if probably by sounding it might uh, you know the you, the the people who are listening to us or watching us might feel that maybe it's just a simple design uh process right. that we are talking about but user experience design is a very complex step by step process which is followed uh in the in the industry and uh, it it requires a lot of user research empathy understanding the psyche of the end users not only of one particular demography or a segment it includes anyone right. and everyone who is going to access that product or a service so it's a very tedious task which a lot of businesses and the companies understood is not possible by uh, you know uh, just by the engineers or the other developers and it's a fact with all due respect uh, engineers have created some amazing research engineers have uh, done some amazing work in the entire digital space that we see but yes a tedious task of understanding the user and their need putting yourself into the shoes of the others segmentizing your users and then coming up with some solutions with amazing ideas there are a lot of plethora plethoras of ideas that user experience designers have to you know come up with some solutions then they zero down to something which is best for the users then doing a lot of testing uh, uh analysis information architecture and then come up with some mock up or a solution which again will be tested on the users and then come up with the final solution is what is known as ux design so the process is tedious but at the same time very interesting uh interesting to the level that a lot of engineers are inclined towards becoming ux designers a lot of graphic okay. designers and visual designers are inclined towards becoming ux designers so a right. student or a professional from any background we have examples where students are from science stream art stream humanities commerce uh, it mechanical civil and once they have uh, they they underwent this uh, course of becoming a ux designer and they are doing amazingly well in the industry great great uh so um it's it sounds like it's a, it's an upward street and uh, uh the, the next aspect that i would want to get into is actually understanding um uh, the courses of bachelors in design and masters in design uh what are these courses and uh what does it mean to actually uh, what do you what would a student actually want to do to uh, get a uh, become a part of this course right so uh, as the name again suggests these are degree courses a bachelor of design is a four year degree course uh, any student who passes 12 with a minimum percentage of 50 from any subject background is eligible to pursue this course master of design again is a degree course of two years for graduates again in any field who have an right. inclination again towards uh, futuristic technologies digitalization and uh, creativity 
this degree is meant for them uh so at imagine xp we have launched these ba bachelors and masters degree programs along partnering along with uh 14 universities in india at different demographies and the university they become our infrastructure partner and uh, right. the degrees of course are given by the university the pedagogy the structure the syllabus is approved by their board of studies and we become the skill partner for them where our trained professionals faculty trainers industry experts they go to the campus and teach student this exclusive bachelor of design and master of design program now coming back to the point why a student should pursue this or who all can pursue this uh so when i say 4 years of bachelor of design it's a professional degree well accepted by the industry uh the beauty of this degree program of 4 years is the curriculum a is a blend of design technology ux and business so in the 4 right. years of study the student of course as the name of the degree suggests as bachelor of design so uh, the design all the foundation subjects of design are covered in this degree of course all the subjects related to ux and user experience design as a process is being taught in this degree student also understand the nuances of digitalization as a process technology futuristic approach to the technology futuristic approach to the business is what is taught to the students and then of course right. there are internships uh for for bachelors there's a six months of internships in the final year final semester okay and uh, okay. for masters it is one year of internship in their second year of uh, uh, masters program so uh, right. it's, it's it's a proper blend program and the student would understand the nuances of design technology ux and digitalization and of course the businesses of tomorrow so it's a very exclusive degree nice 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 uh just give me a minute i just uh, just going to figure out why the audio has just become very less for me i can barely hear you uh no give problem. me a second and just uh, yeah hello hello yeah hello yes perfect it's working again thank god <laughs> great yes uh yeah so uh so uh in terms of uh once a student is actually doing a bds uh and an mds um how do you think it, uh, so in your perspective how is it different from uh say uh, uh the other uh, design programs that are available in the country uh what what would you say would be the the, the few unique points of uh, a bds program yeah so a uh, few of the points i already covered while i was talking about the curriculum here the difference right. is the basic difference i'll tell you is uh everybody knows that or maybe if if somebody wants to do a research they will realize that there are more number of jobs and vacancies available for a user experience designer in comparison to any other designer uh in in the field a b the major difference here for a student to pursue this course is the industry led curriculum that we talk about and right. when i say industry led uh i mean to say that here at imagine xp since we are connected with best of the best portraits and companies and professionals who have been into user experience design and design thinking and have been following the process of how a digital strategy is implemented how a design strategy is implemented in a business so we come from that background where we get to know that how fortune 500 companies of the world are implementing design as a process or digitalization right. as a process or how are they implementing design thinking in their day to day business how are they working on the future technologies in the business mm. now taking a lot of uh, concept and idea from them 
and taking some concepts and ideas from the best academicians in the country and the world, we were able to accumulate an industry-led, practical-based, toolkit-based learning module, which makes right. this degree entirely different from what a student is pursuing in regular degree, be it engineering or sciences or arts or design. So that Absolutely. makes it that makes it more valuable in terms of what industry wants in a UX designer. Right, and right, that's right. That's why right. when a student pursues this course and when goes to an internship, is being valued more than the other professionals available. Absolutely. So I think uh, a couple of questions have started pouring in while we were talking, while you were talking about it and we'll, uh, uh, we'll cover that in the later, uh, in the later hour once we, we've gone through the flow and I hope uh, uh, these questions that the people are, answer, are, are asking right now, I, I hope uh, in the following questions they will be able to answer that as well. Um, so um, just expounding on, uh, on this, um, the career options that you say, uh, the Fortune 500 companies where you're going to be, uh, where a UX designer uh, is there. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, could you expound a little more about what is the, what are the career options and what are these industry segments that a user experience designer works in? Yes, certainly. Uh, again, we have been talking a lot about. Uh, I mean, I have been handling this query a lot where yes. a UX designer feels that uh, uh, he or she might be working in a design studio. That's the perception. But let me tell you, a UX designer is required in all industry segment that exists today in the world, in all the business segments that exist in the world today. The most important mm. reason here is Again, like I said, this is about futuristic technologies, futuristic approach to the business and futuristic digital approach, which has come up with all the businesses. So since right. all the businesses of the world are talking about how digitalization is going to positively impact their businesses, their customers, right. their experiences, right. giving delightful right. uh, you know, experiences to the customers are what these businesses are talking about through a digital hmm. media. That's why right. everyone needs a UX designer. For example, uh, if there is something known as a digital payment solution, like a PayTM right. or a Google Pay, which is to right. be used by all the age groups, all the genres, all the segments of the society, then yes. they need to come up with a solution and a minimalistic approach of how do you design a solution for a person who doesn't know even Hindi or English. And that's what happened during right. demonetization. Right? Absolutely. If you go Absolutely. back to that time of demonetization, uh, yes. one thing that comes to my mind is Paytm. Right. Right. All of a sudden, the uh, this is my favorite example. That all of a sudden, people, there was a huge influx of people which were coming yes. on Paytm yes. at that so, moment. Uh, all of a sudden, if you if you recall, all the rickshaw walas, cab walas, sabzi walas, milk walas started accepting Paytm. Yes, right, absolutely. Paytm got relaunched in all the major vernacular languages of the country, in a Marathi, in a Bengali, in a Punjabi, and people got adapted to it. And not only adapted, there was something known as a trust factor. For me, yeah. who was who? Let's let's say I'm 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 probably the the milk vendor. I'm not educated, but I know how to operate my smartphone. Right, right. I have that Paytm in my mobile in Punjabi. Yes, yes. Once I started using it, nobody had to educate me, and I had that trust on this wallet where right. I was sure that my money is safe. Right. Now the Absolutely. the developers and the technology technologists behind it, they designed, they actually, uh, you know, uh, they developed a solution. Absolutely. But the Absolutely. ultimate it, design presented to the world was because of the UX team, the user experience designers. 
right now right. from the monetization till now in 2020 we are hmm. at that position where people who are of senior ages who first said no to digital payments are the people hmm. now who are happier paying it digitally absolutely now that is what is a delightful experience all about absolutely, right? absolutely. so so banking finance media and entertainment travel and logistics uh, manufacturing automobile production education you name an industry if hmm. the industry is undergoing a digital transformation a change uh, in the process they all need a user experience designer and a digital consultant to set yes. up these strategies right Absolutely. for their team yes. to produce these products and services so answering Absolutely. to your question each industry segment today need user experience designer coming about uh, talking about the roles and responsibilities these users user experience designers have to take right. care of um, like i said earlier that they have to bridge that gap between the, the the design team the developers and the stakeholders and of course considering user in the center considering yes. user centric approach is what they do there are major roles like a ux designer interaction designer a ux manager a ux director uh, uh you know different varied roles that they play in the company depending on company to company who is hiring them uh it it companies product companies service companies all the uh, digital startups that you see uh, the banks you will be surprised to know last week there was a news that banking industry for the first time ever they are going to go to these design schools and colleges to recruit yeah. ux designers now i'm i'm not bank, surprised i'm not surprised yeah. to be honest <laughs> i'm sure my audience few of the members in the audience must be surprised and happy to know that a bank first time ever decided to go to a design college to recruit designers uh right. especially who know the ux design as a process the reason hmm. is like i said everybody will need a ux designer if not today then in coming years for sure right absolutely so, so usually when we uh go to the internet and check on internet of uh, what is the life of a ux designer what is the future of a ux designer what are the jobs roles and responsibilities that a ux designer will get in the industry right. you will be surprised to know the number of jobs that you see on these portals every day trust me even when it's a lockdown i see on all these platforms like uxd jobs or linkedin that there are people approaching right now for projects if you can work from home you can do projects in ux designing just right. because there are few companies who are all of a sudden working on some healthcare management tools in this time of uh, uh you know covid 19 situations at the global level so all of a sudden they are hmm. they are recruiting people who want right. to, who can work actually on these uh digital healthcare products and services and that's why these yeah. design studios and product companies are looking for ux designers who can work from home and who can actually join their team and uh, can provide digital health solutions all right okay right of a journey right, of right. a ux designer in their career they can they can of course they start with a, a ux intern they become ux designer or an interaction designer they become user mm -hmm. researcher like i said is one of the most important fields they become information Absolutely. architect they become uh, uh, you know visual designers they become uh, ux managers ux directors and a person can reach to a level of chief design officer I don't know if people in the audience must have heard it all the CXO level jobs now include a designation called as chief design officer who is one of the most important key responsibility in these big corporates right. that you see so when you check on linkedin of a chief design officer of any of the companies you will be surprised that you name an industry segment and now they have a chief design officer who is trying to transform the the right. the hot process of these businesses absolutely absolutely so 
I I completely agree with you where uh, uh, various segments of uh, various industry segments, all of them are actually going are going through a digital transformation, and in order to uh, bridge that gap of the user, like for example, like you were mentioning about banks, which are now looking at hiring UX designers and UX researchers, uh, which is quite unlikely of a bank to actually do it in the past. Uh, right. But, but that's that's the need of the hour. Uh, is to digitalize their products and solutions so that people can it can actually reach out to uh, the right kind of people and it's more usable for them as well. Correct. Correct. So while um, I was just reading in the comments, I must acknowledge yeah. few of our uh, you know uh, industry experts who are available. I can see Akash, Tanmay, I see Sonam, Vidika, uh, and few others who have been actually they have started responding to the queries of the uh, viewers. Uh, I would like right. to thank all of you, and uh, I would also say it to the audience that you must follow the lifestyles of. Uh, Uh, these professionals like Akash, Tanmay, and see their journeys over LinkedIn. How beautifully they have evolved uh, in the senior positions of uh, you know UX career. Right, 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 right. Absolutely, we'll uh, we'll ask them for a session with these guys as well in the coming Absolutely. future. <laughs> we'll, we'll request them to be part of our future sessions. Right. <laughs> uh so okay so uh coming back to the the course that we give uh, uh there's a term that even you used and we use uh, is we are giving an industry led program um uh, maybe if you could just explain a little bit more about uh, what does that mean is does that mean that uh we are uh, we are bringing the the kind of learnings from the industry or there's much more closer really working relationship with the industry uh, maybe if you could just explain in in your way oh certainly so basically uh, when i say industry led i was trying to explain that earlier as well but i will throw more light on this uh like i said the kind of background the kind of people that are connected with us so imagine xp uh these are people who are working in the digitalization process and design process uh in the standard industries there are people professionals who are working in the field for last 15 years they have actually uh done this transformation digital transformation in fortune 500 companies of the world they have set the right stage in these businesses and have actually done the digital transformation of a process from right. let's say like i said uh, uh, there is one way of doing a payment where i pass on the cash to you or maybe i go to the bank and deposit my check or cash the other way the the, the same way is done through the digitalization process where i just right. tap and pay money to you tap and send uh, you know i transfer my money from my mobile banking now this digitalization right. process has been uh, done by a lot of industry experts in the world who are connected with us uh, uh, the the team the senior management of imagine xp team have been regularly sitting with them on curriculum lockdown where we get a lot of insights from the industry on what right. exactly do they look, look in a ux designer they mm. what are the exact right. methodologies that they want that a ux designer should follow and right. so we have framed those toolkits which are actually being implemented in the companies who are doing this digital transformation or implementing ux design as a process so while we right. are interacting with these leaders while we are interacting with the best of the best design educators in the world we are able to accumulate <coughs> sorry we are able to accumulate a curriculum which is relevant industry specific and mm. has all those nuances which are required by the industry so if i have to recruit your ux designer from right. imagine xp 
and i know that these are the five things that i look in my ux designer not only in terms of general skills but in terms of knowledge in terms of practical implementation in terms of uh, uh, all all the all all the technical nuances which are required uh, uh, then of course if if you tell me that yes all these five are followed i'll prefer right. to select a candidate from you that is what is right. happening with the region xp when i say industry led it means off the current standard off the current industry uh, you know standard and keeping in mind that when in future things will change there is going to be curriculum which is going to be revised for my students who are pursuing these courses at right, the right. first place 